The fur industry to me is an unnecessary industry. I've worked in fashion for 25 years and I understand the idea, the appeal of fur, the feeling of it, but when you really look behind the curtain and you see the cruelty and the inhumane um, circumstances behind this industry, it's unnecessary. And designers today have many different options, many different types of other materials that they can work in, and fur is unnecessary. The HSUS targets the most abusive practices and works to reduce animal suffering. And that mission has a lot to do with you. Because of our work, laws have been changed, animal abusers have been brought to justice, and treatment has been improved. But for all that's been accomplished, there's still so much to fight for. Margaret wears a flowered evening dress of crown-tested rayon, topped off with a white fox short jacket. We'll continue to fight the cruelty of the fur industry, but we can't do it without designers who are willing to fight with us. That's where you come in, because nothing says fashion can't be compassionate. And it should be appropriate. Be appropriate. Every year, over 75 million animals are killed for their fur, all in the name of fashion. Some are anally electrocuted. Others are crushed or drowned in traps. Many are skinned alive while they're awake and alert. It's a practice that has been well documented in China, the world's leader in fur production and a country notorious for its lack of regulation and transparency. That means it's nearly impossible to guarantee that the fur you buy comes from an animal that was raised and killed humanely. Even in the United States there are no federal laws governing the issue. <laughs> We Americans do take our ways for granted. We just don't realize how business is done in other countries, or why we can shop the simple, pleasant way that we do. Over the past several years, the Humane Society of the United States has uncovered false advertising and labeling of animal fur garments by many of the biggest names in fashion. Enforcement is necessary. And designers are being held accountable when consumers are duped into buying mislabeled garments. Yet as gruesome as the fur industry is, its environmental impact may be just as bad. From the water and air pollution to the carcinogenic chemicals that are used to process pelts. Ultimately, fur garments are the result of animal suffering and environmental degradation. But this can all be stopped, and that starts with you. By simply not wearing fur, you're already sending a message to your peers. Say, do you look smooth? You have control, you make the decisions, and you can make a difference. Quite a fashion show, aren't I?